The file that Galadriel gave to Frodo in the Fellowship of the Ring is a very interesting artifact that warrants some further exploration. It is called the Light of Erendil, and if you've only seen the movies, that may not mean too much to you, but for Silmarillion readers, this is quite the bombshell, even in the books. Replicating the Light of Erendil, which is the Light of a Silmaril, is a feat that is essentially world-breaking, since the fate of the world is tied to the three Silmarils. So having a character like Galadriel just whip one out, or whip something out that emits the same light, would break the lore. I'm not going to get into what exactly a Silmaril is, or their thematic significance, um, because that is really the subject for another video. Rather, here we will be looking at what the file of Galadriel is, and how it is incredibly important and beautiful, but is not anywhere near the level of one of Feanor's Silmarils. The first description of the file in the Fellowship of the Ring is as follows. And to you, Ringbearer, I come to you last who are not last in my thoughts. For you I have prepared this. She held up a small crystal file. It glittered as she moved it, and rays of light sprang from her hand. It is the light of Erendil's star set amidst the waters of my fountain. It will shine brighter when night is about you, May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. Remember Galadriel and her mirror. As easily overlookable as some of this is on a first reading, it actually perfectly defines any misconceptions about the file. It is not the light of a Silmaril. You see, a Silmaril emits its own light. The file does not create light, a feat that is always significant in Middle-earth or even in the Blessed Realm. Rather, it allows one to see the light of Erendil as though it were deep in water and reflected by her mirror. In lame, modern language, it's like FaceTiming a Silmaril if your phone were in a pool of water. The quote is, set amid the waters of my fountain. Furthermore, the light does not shine as bright or as beautifully as a true Silmaril. This can be understood most clearly with two simple examples. The first is in the previous quote when Galadriel said, It will shine brighter when night is about you. This is not necessarily true for a Silmaril. A Silmaril, relative to everything else, is always incomprehensibly bright, even in broad daylight. This is a quote from the Silmarillion. And the inner fire of the Silmarils Feanor made, of the blended light of the trees of Valinor, which lives in them yet, though the trees have long withered and shine no more. Therefore, even in the darkest of the deepest treasury, the Silmarils of their own radiance shone like the stars of Varda, and yet, as were they indeed living things, and here's the important bit of the quote, they rejoiced in light, and received it, and gave it back in hues more marvelous than before. So a fire may not appear so bright in broad daylight as it would at night, yet a Silmaril would outshine the sun, and take its light, and give it back in a more beautiful way. In addition, a Silmaril's light cannot be quenched, whereas the file of Galadriel failed in the heart of Sauron's realm, in the cracks of doom in the fires of Orodruin. And Sauron was only the lieutenant of Morgoth, and far weaker in might. In the heart of Morgoth, the black foe of the world, in the heart of his realm, his deepest, darkest, most innermost throne room, Still, the Silmarils shone with the light of the two trees, Laurelin and Telperion. And should, in the Dagor Dagorath, the leaguer around Amon the Blessed Realm be broken, and Erendil cast down, and his Silmaril broken, with its light dispersed, then the file of Galadriel would fail also. As before mentioned, it does not create its own light, but rather shows someone, though distorted and somewhat diminished, the light of a Silmaril. Sorry for the lack of a video last week. I've been a little bit swamped with work in school, but regardless, thank you all for watching this one. And if you liked it, please do like, subscribe, and comment. I always love getting into Lord of the Rings discussions with people down below. Thank you.